it's never been more apparent that teaching biology is political. You look at the US currently has a new Health and Human Services Administrator who doesn't believe in vaccines. NOAA was just asked to make a list of all of their grants related to climate change. What we teach has always been important. It's always been important for people to have science literacy and media literacy that they can learn in our classrooms, but it's never been more clear than in this moment. So I have two pieces of encouragement. The first is do not change what you teach. Do not be afraid to mention the current events happening in your classroom. Make them tell you that you can't do it. Do not assume what you can or cannot do based off of executive orders that are not laws and nobody has told you how they're gonna be reinforced in your school and in your context. Not only will some kids be actually interested in and see the relevancy of what they're learning for the first time, but you'll also probably find that you have colleagues in the building who want to do the same thing, but are nervous or they aren't sure how. And so having you there as somebody who speaks back will help them too. The second is even if somebody does come and tell you, you can't teach X, Y, and Z, if you are teaching students good critical thinking skills in your biology class, how to analyze, how to critique, then they will still be able to apply that knowledge to the world around them. First and foremost, do not let fear of what might be punk you out of teaching students authentic, inclusive biology. And if you are told that you cannot make sure the way that you're teaching is still empowering. And if that's something you could use help with, make sure you check out the lab rock stars. I'll put some details in the caption. Stay curious, y'all.